The numbers are startling, and it's drawing some much-needed attention now back on hurricane-ravaged Puerto Rico. The authors of a new study are calling into question the death toll on that island. An in-depth look at the study this evening and the dramatic increase in the lives lost. News 8's Bob Wilson is live in our Hartford newsroom with the details on that. Bob. Yeah, you know, Harvard taking another look at this to see exactly how the government's classifying the numbers and how they should be classified for storm deaths. And now, Senator Richard Blumenthal wading into the mix. He was here in Connecticut today saying America can do better. Would the United States of America have tolerated this lack of electricity, drinkable water, communications, if it had been Texas or Tennessee? As Puerto Rico continues to struggle to turn the lights back on after Hurricane Maria, Harvard now releasing a brand new study saying the storm death toll is much higher than the government is reporting. The official tally released by the Puerto Rican officials has for months remained at 64 people. That number has not changed until Harvard researchers did a study and found the number is now 4,645. Jason Ortiz, president of the Connecticut Puerto Rican Agenda, lays the blame squarely on the shoulders of the United States of America. 5,000 deaths due to negligence by the federal government. Like, there's no way around that that these people could have been saved had we gotten there faster. People here in Connecticut with family in Puerto Rico not surprised at all by these numbers. As a matter of fact, they're grateful to Harvard for shedding light on something they already knew. I'm glad there was uh, a press conference today about it. I'm glad that there's people talking about this. The more people talk about it, hopefully the more people will get engaged. Maribel Laluz has family in Puerto Rico, and she says they were lucky and survived the hurricane. But she says while the number 5,000 is a big number, the people that are living in the dark without water and some medicines, they're more than just statistics. Those aren't numbers. You know, that's, um, that's my grandfather. That is somebody's sister. That's my aunt. Those are family members for people. They're not just numbers. Um, and it's scary and it's hurtful. And the governor of Puerto Rico also holding a news conference today saying he hasn't seen the study himself. He's heard about it. He would like to get it in his hands and take a close look at it because he says anything that would help improve hurricane response, he's on board with. He just needs to get it into action. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live in the Hartford Newsroom, News 8.